So I hope you don't mind. This is probably going to be short and is probably going to be a one take. So today, 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 really started last night. Today started last night, late last night, uh, really not that late, I guess, but, but last night uh, when I discovered and really realized that Pippa, the new kitten, hasn't really been eating or drinking anything, really, at all, and since Monday sometime, I think. And last night was really the uh, peak of that, and she was very sad and pathetic and weak-looking, and all she wanted to do was lay and not move. So I was very worried, like, very, very worried having had sick cats before and sick other animals before I was quite worried because I know that can go very badly very fast. So I was very worried. Um, we did make it to the morning. I did not get much sleep. I woke up frequently during the night, even set my alarm so that I could get up um, and check on her and make sure that um, I still had four cats. And then uh, this morning, I called into work and told them that I was probably only going to do a half day. Uh, and then I called the vet, uh, really to find out that the vet is not really open on Wednesdays. Like, they're open, but the vet's not there. So I don't really know the point of being open is. Um, I've never known a vet to not be open during the week. My vets have always been Monday through Friday, Fridays, half day Saturday, close Sundays. That's always my experience with vets. But apparently that's not how vets work uh, here and apparently in some other places. Um, so that was kind of frustrating. So I took her to the emergency vet, which is always a lovely and expensive experience. And this time was no different. Though not as expensive as the other times I've been to the emergency vet. This was actually fairly, I don't say cheap, but cheaper than some other times. And panic keeps wanting to be in video. So, uh, she was there for, uh, half a day or so. Um, they gave her some fluids, warmed her up, uh, got her eating, she had some elevated white blood cell counts, her temperature was low, and what else? And her bladder was really full. She hadn't gone pee in I don't know how long. So they got her eating and everything. They put her on antibiotics. Um, and um, sent her home with some food. And what else? And I think that's it. I um, still don't really know what the issue is. She's quarantined, quarantined right now um, until the antibiotics have run their course, uh, done that whole course of antibiotics, and uh, we get a new feline AIDS, feline leukemia test because they want to retest when she's older because apparently that will give us more accurate results to rule that out as cause for her illness. So, I have a sick kitty. Although she is much stronger than she was when I took her to the vet this morning. She was pretty, pretty pathetic looking. But she ate when she came home, and she took the longest pee ever. Ever. And, uh, I, that's really it for today. Um, stuff for the door is going to have to wait. And, uh, what? Some, something just happened. I think Facebook just happened. Facebook, yeah, Facebook just happened. Um, so, with that said, I will see you guys tomorrow, and hopefully I will feel better and have a, a better kitten.